One of the most important things when it comes to editing in any NLE is speed. And that includes adding an edit, as we might call it in Media Composer, or you might call it splitting a clip in another NLE. So by default here in, let me stop that. So by default here in DaVinci Resolve, let me go ahead and dim that audio too. By default here in DaVinci Resolve, if I wanted to add an edit or make a split to some clips, it's actually a two key shortcut. So let's come up here, I'll zoom in. And if I want to split this clip here and this clip here, right at my playhead, like I said, it's a two key shortcut. So I have to press Control and B, and that's going to split the clip right there, essentially making you know a new clip there. But again, I have to press Control B, that's no good for us. Now in other NLEs, oftentimes we just press B to make a cut wherever our playhead is. Now in DaVinci Resolve, again, by default, we're gonna switch this in just a second, but by default, if I press B, that gives me my blade tool, as you can see right there. So that is just my razor blade tool, which you can use the same way that you would use it in, say, Premiere, for example. So you can make your cut, make your cut. So it's great to have that tool mapped to a single key, but again, we are probably used to using B for the cut at our playhead. And what you're gonna have to do now is decide what key you want to map your razor tool to. A good place to put it would be R. Now by default in DaVinci Resolve, if I press R, that brings up my change clip speed. I don't really need this shortcut because I can just right click the clip and go to change clip speed, same exact window there. So maybe you want to map this to R. I'm going to map it to C. Now by default, C is going to be an auto color. So if I press C, it's going to auto color uh, that clip there. Now I don't need that functionality or if I do, I might map it to a different key. Uh, I'm personally going to map my razor tool uh, to my C key just because that's what I'm used to. So let's head up to DaVinci Resolve and keyboard customization. Now, if you followed along from a previous video, be sure to select that keyboard that we set up with our top and tail editing, okay? Otherwise, you're gonna end up creating a completely new keyboard. So we'll select this keyboard uh, right there that we set up in a previous video. So first we'll go to Control B or Command B on Mac. We'll click Razor, okay? And we'll just get rid of this and we'll type in B. That is what I want. We'll go ahead and assign it, even though it's already assigned, no problem. Just assign that. Okay, now we'll take control off, just tick B. Now we'll click blade edit mode, and we'll change this, again, in my case, to C. You might want to change it to R or whatever you uh, uh, personally uh, prefer, but we're gonna do that, assign. So again, this is mapped to two keys now, and let's press C now, and we have the auto color. Now you can set this to any other key that you want, I'm just going to remove it for now. I think maybe I'll put it on uh, R, maybe I'll put it on H or something like that. I could always put it on maybe H or something like that. Uh, just whatever, you know, whatever you prefer, okay? And again, from that previous video, we still have Q and W mapped for our trim start and trim end. You may have changed that to uh, your ripple edits, which is completely fine, or you might put your ripple edits on E and R or whatever you, uh, again, whatever you prefer. But for now, we'll go ahead and save. Okay, we can close out of this. So now instead of having to hit Control B, all I have to do now is press the B key. So I'll press B, boom, there is my edit right there, real fast, real simple. And then I can use my top and tail to cut, say this portion out of the clip. I can just hit Q in this case, and that will cut that out. Or of course, if we were in trim mode there, I can hit Q and that will go ahead and ripple down. Really quick, really easy. And of course I can then hit C, and give me my razor tool, which can be helpful sometimes. Sometimes you don't wanna cut at the playhead. It's just faster to use a razor tool. And I can just grab that again by hitting C, make my cut wherever I want, go back to my selection tool. I'm just gonna click A and then hit delete. That's gonna ripple it down by default, or I can hit uh, backspace to uh, leave a space there. Again, that's by default. I actually switch those keys around in my uh, personal, uh, personal keyboard. But there you go. Now we can make our edits really quick, really fast, uh, to any clip that you want. And also you should understand, let's come back here now, where we have these three clips here, this video clip, this video clip, and the audio clip all underneath the playhead here. Now, since I have video track two patched in, video track one patched in, and audio track one patched in, if I just hit B, again for our add edit, then all of those clips are cut right there. Control Z. Now, if for example, I didn't want 
our video two clip cut, I can unpatch that. This is sort of the media composer way of working of patching in tracks. So if you understand this in DaVinci Resolve, you can actually go to media composer and sort of understand things pretty quickly. Let's go ahead and unpatch our audio because we don't want to cut that because this would be a music video. All we want to do is trim or, or add an edit, add a split to this clip right there. So with nothing selected, I can just hit B and now only that clip is cut right at our playhead. Okay, then trim that out or do whatever uh, you want to do with it. So it's important to understand if your track was patched in, say video two is patched in, let's control Z out of that actually. If both of these were patched in and not the audio, I press B, now both of those are cut. All right. Now also with video two and video one patched in, if I were to just select video one and hit B, then only this clip here is going to be cut at our playhead with our B shortcut. Okay. So that is a quick way again, especially with our top and tail, because now I can come up here and I can just, you know, hit my Q and go ahead and, you know, trim out the top of that clip, or of course the, uh, the tail of that clip as well, really quick, really easy by using our B key for our cut, by using Q and W for our top and tail, and by using C to grab our razor tool and make quick cuts wherever we need to. All right, so that is customizing your keyboard to make editing even faster here in DaVinci Resolve.